Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Place Tales of Zestaria. Last time, well, Dezel sadly is no longer with us. We did get a new party member, Zavid. Now, I'm assuming he is exactly like Dezel because he is a wind seraph. He has the same exact equipment and seemingly skills from what I could see. Uh, what were, yeah, he even has the skills I turned off for Dezel. Uh, he has a new mystic art though, I think, maybe. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, so we're probably going to have some skits to go over. Let's start with the spiritual power of the wind. That's the wind trial stuff. You you'd fill in for Dezel, right? A man never goes back on his word. Well, unless it's with the ladies. But uh, the mm, no. <laughs> oh, you doubt me, huh? Come on, you've seen what I can do. <sighs> yeah, but only because you practically forced it on us. I said I was sorry. Jeez. We get how strong you are? But what about the spiritual power of wind? You don't have to go back and get it? Not to worry. The shepherd takes those spiritual powers into his being. So there's nothing to worry about. Especially not with an able and handsome wind seraph like me. Yeah, that makes right, sense. Then. I won't let you down. I'll see to it you don't. I'm a little surprised. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Ray. I'm knowledgeable about spiritual powers and shepherds. <laughs> Well, I am a well-experienced, grown-ass man, after all. You know, you can always... Uh, I don't want to... Your junk's a little too close to the screen there, buddy. <laughs> Zavid just wants to fit in. But actually, before we go into that, the spiritual power win, I was sort of assuming we might have to go back there at some point. Like, maybe we get to the Galvin Basin, and they're like, oh, shit, we don't have the spiritual power win. I just kind of... Part of me assumed it was just going to be okay, and another part of me was like, well, we could just teleport there, and maybe that's part of the story again. But anyways, Zavid just wants to fit in. I know this is real sudden, but there's something I want to ask y'all so I can fit in a little better. Tell me your weaknesses. Ah, uh, you know what? No. <laughs> hey now, that's cold, Mick boy. I'll tell you mine to make it fair. On days when the temperature is low, I get cold. Yeah, because you don't wear any clothes. Oh, I see how it is. You want something juicier? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Let me tell you something. If a girl starts crying, there's nothing I won't do for her. Didn't need to know that, thanks. You guys are tough customers. All right, try this one on for size. I'm strong against earth, but weak against fire. We knew that. That's no good either. Well, then here's a juicy tidbit that'll rock your... Wait, were you weak against fire? I don't think you were weak against fire last time we fought. From the waist up. Lila is This isn't even about weaknesses anymore. Well, it looks like you're fitting in just fine, I'd say. I mean, you might you might have something that he's weak against, Lila. A promise between men. Hey, Zavid, I want to ask you about something you mentioned. Oh, hmm. Is this your response to my love confession? Don't try and weasel your way out of this. You said there was something you had to settle with my brother. That's all there is to it, really. There's just something between us we need to settle. And that something is? I told him, please let me marry your little sister, and he punched me. Seems oh, reasonable. Oh, come on, he'd totally do something like that. Fine, don't tell me then. <laughs> no wonder he's worried about her all the time. So what's this really about? Did Edna's brother ask a favor from you or something like that? Hmm? Who wants to know? Rose and Lila. Something to do with the oath? Nah, it's not that big of a deal. But even so, a promise between men is just as sacred. I'm assuming he... Uh, sentimental sister title. All right. I'm assuming Zavid and Edna's brother were friends and maybe Edna's brother knew, like, sort of kind of felt he was being taken over by the malevolence and was like, dude, just take care of my sister. That's probably why we found him at the Skycrest now that we think about it. Anyways, watched over by the Seraphim. That is adorable. Also, Alicia would be pissed. It all might be too much for mere humans to bear. I shouldn't have taken them along. Oh, it's so useless to say that now. They could have stayed. If you didn't take us along, none of this would have happened. They went out of their own accord. Leomon would be raging through the land. Expect or want anyone to take responsibility for their being dragged into this. Both of them seem so used to living with the Seraphim. Wonder if they were always like this. Saray and I were raised together ever since we were just babies. There was a time when you were a baby? That's rude. My <laughs> bad, my bad. 
I'm sure you were a sweet, well-behaved little guy back in your day. Too bad I'm not like that anymore, huh? Uh, Catalyst Crash Course. You know, there's something I've been wondering. Yeah, what? You're an Earth Seraph, right? So why do you use an umbrella for a weapon? Isn't that more like a water element? Why? Because it I blocks like rain? Ready. ready to have your mind blown? I'm using it precisely because I'm an Earth Seraph. Huh? You know about the dominant relationships among the Why did he get so quiet, Edna? Speak up. Fire and wind, right? Earth is stronger than water. Meaning that especially when using seraphic arts, you can increase your mana output by using the subordinate element as a catalyst. What? Seems Just fair. Lila has been using wind imbued paper, and Dezel's pendulum has been using earthen minerals as their catalysts. The staff that you've been using is fundamentally an earth element. You'd have to be a complete idiot for using something like that as a water seraph. Why the fuck wouldn't anyone tell him this, like, 40 hours ago? I did just say it. Well, if you've been using it as a way to train yourself, or a way to incorporate physical attacks on top of seraphic arts, then you're not doing it completely wrong, at least. The longer you live, the easier it is for you to choose to do what takes the least amount of effort. But if you really aren't satisfied and want to grow stronger, then you're just going to have to do things the hard way if you want to go beyond whatever ability you were born with. Huh. Anyways, you've been using your staff without knowing what it's for. Good job, dummy. <laughs> yeah, actually, that would make a good system, I think, if that was part of the game. Like, uh, maybe the Seraphs don't have set weapons, so you could choose an elemental weapon based on, you know, based on some sort of object that could increase their attack. I mean, this game has a lot of systems as is, so it'd be probably a little much, but maybe in a future game. Um, isn't that your second art defense one? No, it's your first art defense one. All right. Well, oh, you have learned all your arts, have you? Interesting. You still have one. Really? Are you really done with your arts? Even your... Uh, I get, yeah, I don't know. All right, let's stay at the inn a few times. Uh, we should probably do the cheapest one because everything's got so goddamn expensive nowadays. Why do you kill the Hellions? Well, Why do you save the Hellions? Not one to mince words now, are you? It's not the sort of thing you need to beat around the bush about. Fair enough. Plain and simple, it's just my style. You mean killing? If I gotta. There are some out there who can't be purified. Yeah. There are Hellions who can't go back to their original form. But even so, Saray promised he'd find a way to bring them back. With Edna. How shepherdly of him. Well, if that, you can't find a way, he sounded saddened he by to that. Take responsibility. As long as he does that, it's fine. Taking responsibility. To kill, you mean? No, not exactly. Meaning he needs to find his own answer. <gasps> that was pretty wise of me, right? <laughs> Always a first for everything. I'm gonna accidentally call him Dezel from time to time, aren't I? Uh, I almost did a second ago. I'll stay again. Let's see, yep. Hey, Mr. Shepard, where's Lila and the others? They went to the sauna to relax. Really now? Snap! Saray, let's set up the sauna. Okay, don't sound so goddamn creepy. Come on, don't be such a buzzkill. We men need to be open and comfortable about things like this. You know, what naked relationship. Oh, God. Well, you are always half naked, Zavid. I may look like an exhibitionist <laughs> when it comes to my body. But the door to my heart is always closed. That's why I wanted to take this time to bond with you. You know, like, as an accomplice. Nice. Don't tell me you're going to read the wind to snoop around the girl's sauna. Oh, ho. You're pretty sharp after all, you no good shepherd, you. I don't think this is a good idea. Someone yeah, I think Edna would probably crush our skulls. Grow up to be the kind of and Rose would slit our throats. Win or lose situation. And Lila would burn us to death. It's so not really a good idea. Flush red cheeks. There is a healthy, sublime beauty in this closed space we call a sauna. Saray, let's go hunting for babes. Ah. <sighs> That sure was therapeutic. Why don't you guys step in as well? You mean like this? That's not the kind of babe hunting I'm talking about. 
Uh, yes, it is, Zavid. Yes, it is. All right. Well, took for a little turn than I was expecting. I was expecting we were going to go spy on the ladies and then someone was going to punch us in the face. They love me. They love me not. Oh, God. They don't tell me you have a flower. Me. They love me not. They love me. What is it you're trying to find out? You know how I joined halfway and, like, after I did a bunch of not so nice stuff to you guys. Dude, that was yesterday. I wonder if everyone hates me. Well, what did you find out? Well, it looks like. Yeah, everyone pretty much hates me. <laughs> oh, come now. Saray and the others aren't like that. Yeah, he is the shepherd and all. Not to mention kind of a goody two shoes. So maybe it's kind of meaningful that a guy like me tags along. Even if I'm not exactly welcomed. Then I'll do a little reading myself to see if you're truly welcome among us. A paper flower? That means there's only one petal. Zavid is our friend, it says. Ah. <laughs> it's just some dumb fortune. Maybe, but my fortunes are never wrong. Also something you make up. I'm assuming we weren't actually supposed to get that skit for a while. I mean, to be fair, in skits probably aren't meant to be viewed all at once. They're probably like, oh, you come back after you get into a battle. All right, so there's no skit here. I should go back to the other ends just in case there's other skits. Oh, I should probably go back to Lady Lake and get that gold chest as well before we head back to the basin. So let's actually do that. We'll start at the end first. We'll just stay at the end there, see if we, there's another skit. I'll go get the chest, then we'll probably cut to other ends. Man, why can't the other ends have a 50 cent or a 50 gold option? That's bull. Is that Maven? That is Maven. What the fuck are you doing here, Maven? Oh there, Saray. I've come across an interesting tidbit. A ways into Lady Lake's Heights, there is a ruin of a shrine. People used to come far and wide to pray there, but now it lies abandoned, shrouded in constant thunderstorms. Doesn't it set your explorer bl blood afray? Lake Haven Heights? Is that where... Are you going up the Gramps' house? Anyways, uh, Rose, what about what happened? I... The last thing I need is to be pitied. I'm fine, really, right as rain. We need to keep the mission... Keep to the mission. Nothing has changed for you or for me, sir, eh? All right. We need to hunt down held off again. Yeah, all the more. So if he's really connected to Mortalis, let's head over to Gavlin Basin first, like our original plan. Yeah. All right. We were under that assumption from last episode. Maybe we should go back to Gramps's and see if Maven's going to be there. If he found a way into it, that might be something to look into. Now, the chest, I think over here actually the chest probably refilled on the other side so I might as well go get it really wait genius doesn't have a staff he uses like a toy KO protection all right maybe that's not a reference that I'm thinking of the there's a other tales character by that name I might as well check up here before I go. Oh, wait, there is a... I think there's a chest, a gold chest in the rich sector, the Imperial Manor sector stuff. All right, there it is. All right, we'll grab this chest, and then I'll probably skip at... Uh, Dipton, Dipton. That's uh, Alicia's last name, right? Uh, it's a ribbon. That none of us can equip? Is it a ribbon for Alicia? Are we gonna get Alicia back? Kinda spoily. Maybe. Anyways, let's uh, head over to Gramps's. Savid, I have a favor to ask of you. What is she looks mad. I don't like that look on your face. <clears throat> Please, put some clothes on. It's just not right. I wish I could, toots, but it's part of my oath. <laughs> is that true? Yeah, that's the reason I've been traveling alone. It's not like you're the only one who's got an oath to follow, you know. You have one too, Edna? Yeah, 
to prevent my brother from leaving the mountains? I eat peanuts every day, an amount equal to my age. And I need to get a tan to shed a layer of skin at least once a month. Wait, what? Yeah, I remember Dazzle saying something about an oath he had to keep his teeth all jaggedly sharp. I can't tell if you're joking or not. <laughs> Look who's talking. But that's what the oath of the Seraphim is like, isn't it? Yes. We must keep the truth in our hearts. That's the nature of the oath. I okay, you lost me on that one. Whew, alright. I stayed at all the inns that I could find except for Logren. And I got most of the shops up to three stars up until uh Pendrago. And I don't know about Logren. I didn't actually teleport over there yet. Um, I'm I've pretty much running out of money right now. Let's set attack here. Just for, uh, hopefully attack actually goes into this base. Well, well, there's a save point in here, so we should check. You know what? I need to go make a save. I like how the majority of the time, actually all the time, is uh, viewing skits so far. A lot of skits once the got into the party. All right. Let's see. Where do we need to go? Up there? Okay. So then, now what do we do? Well, I guess we follow the sorcerer. I thought you were going to say something more, but apparently not. Do we need to talk to one of these guys? It looks like Heldolf wasn't in Glavent. Indeed. Were he near us, we'd surely have felt the strength of his domain. I guess we'll have to search somewhere else. But we'll need at least some clue as to where he is. I mean, I know. I hate wasting my time. Where he is? Hiding such a large amount of malevolence shouldn't exactly be an easy task. Shouldn't I just go over there then? Mm. Malevolence, huh? I remember feeling an unusually strong level of malevolence before. When was that? Right after we fought earlier. It was when we were heading back to Pendrago from the Guinevere Shrine. So, maybe southwest of Pendrago? Alright, let's check it out. You guys really gonna go on such a shot in the dark? Sounds like it's Dude, we have nothing else to go on. Of course we are. If this ends up being a waste of time, I swear I'll stab you. Edna, I really like you. Yeah, yeah, I'll keep that in mind. Okay, so we do need to go back to that shrine then. Are we never going to be able to come back here? Like, I feel like I haven't explored everything here. There might be a mutant hellion here I missed or something. I mean, I guess I'll just leave and go to the wind shrine. I was like, I was saying, like, we fought held off before for that, uh, I guess the bad ending. So I knew where he was. But then again, I guess that I didn't know if that was where he would be after we got Zavid. I don't know. It's just one of those things. It's like we already fought him, but apparently we knew that we had to go back to Galvind uh, Basin, which I call keep calling Galvin. I don't know why. So we need to go to Wind Shrine Square outside of the shrine. There's, I think there's a safe point outside there, too. Now, nah, to be fair. I've gained a lot of levels, and I've killed a lot of mutant hellions since last time we fought him. This is not where I thought we would be. There we go. All right. This domain, it's so strong. Ah, it's not that bad. There's no mistaking it. The final showdown, huh? Ah, there he is. Heldolf. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, he's freaky strong. This won't go like last I'm going to get one of you in Digimon. I hope that it won't. What do you mean? Do you think it's coincidence that you've encountered Hellion's domains at every turn? So what? This was all you're doing? Is that what you want to say? Is this your idea of being merciful? You know he used to be a general. There's no telling what he's really plotting. That's a good point actually. Are you trying to negotiate? Be on your guard, Saray. Yeah, he's capable of anything. How a man who once grieved over the loss of his family could change so completely. It's spooky. Time flows differently for a man who lives in loneliness and sorrow. <laughs> so, how are we supposed to find out if this guy really did bind with Maltellus? If he kills us? We'll just have to fight him head on. I like the way you think. Wish. 
Tell me something, Heldolf. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not that funny. It's kind of funny. What's so damn funny? You talk far too much. I've been told that. I am the Lord of Calamity, and thou art the shepherd. The meeting of the two is by definition conflict. I like your bone spine garment. Yeah. Here he comes, everyone. Oh, yes. You are barely a lot stronger since the last time I fought you. All right, held off. It chills me to the bone just to see him standing here, but I can't afford to lose. Saray, please take care of his uh, of that. His malevolence doesn't corrupt you as well. Oh, wow. You just have a lot of HP. You have lost. Wait, I'm, assu I'm assuming you lost a lot of strength. Because we actually couldn't see his stats last time, could we? But that little level 88, that kind of worries me. I should get Edna into the party. Uh, so Edna, come on in. I mean, we aren't doing that much damage to him, to be quite honest. I'm kind of surprised by that, but then again... Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say we're doing all right. We've, we've, we've done no damage. I'm assuming this is gonna be like a time-based combat or maybe he is gonna be killing us at some point and then it's gonna be just story-based. Maybe? Hard to believe you're the same rosy cheeked youth as before. We're making progress, but I got a bad feeling about this. Wonder of wonders, I agree with there we go. You like that? Are you happy? Yeah, huh? you know, sometimes. Keep fighting like this and you'll strike me down. Can't you feel it? Are you pulling a palpatine on me? Because it's really starting to feel like you're pulling a palpatine on me. You yearn for it. You crave it. Would you drown in this Motherfucker is trying to pull a palpatine on me. Take your weapon. Strike me down with all of your hatred. And oh man, I am very bad at a Palpatine impression. Let me get voice acting classes. Why? What? As you know, to quell the Lord of Calamity is the duty of the Shepherd. That is not incorrect. Is he challenging us? Do it if we can? No. The bastard's up to something. Simone. Pumba. Yes. Dispose of them. She has a little tail that's in like a keychain thingy. Look out, everyone! You're too late. Am I? Oh, buddy. That's probably not good. My mind, you're finally putting some effort into it. Are we? Because it looks like you just handed our ass. For one of his strength, probably only about 10 minutes. I apologize. It will do. do. Do I have to put on some pants, little girl? Also, do I have to put on like to like hold off for like ten minutes? Oh shit, we're gonna have to fight him for ten minutes, aren't we? Well, you know what, Lila, don't like. You know what? Fuck it, Lila, get in here. I know we'll be. Ah, oh, we're not underestimating anyone! Why couldn't Edna just stayed out? No offense, Lila. Actually, we're doing alright. I have a feeling this one is... 
Man, you know, you're you're not right. I feel fine about this. You you are like not doing anywhere near as much damage as you did last time I fought you. And I kind of know your attacks now, so I can kind of at least sort of dodge against them. Come on, hit me. Oh, okay. I guess we're splitting up now. Uh, yeah, so we split just three combined again. All right, sure. And then we split up again. Okay, wasn't planning on you recovered your health. That is, that is, n no honor. You have no honor held off. You don't hail in PvP. Have you ever played Dark Souls before? <laughs> well, we use Calamity Flare against Lord of Calamity. Is that the weak point? Is that what we were aiming for? Uh. Yeah, that's the one where if you hit him, he like fucking does like a full thing of bull crap. Ow. Okay, I probably shouldn't use arts. Oh, you know what I should do? So I gotta use a hidden art. I'm assuming maybe this one because it's dragon and held off controls dragons. That's doesn't make any sense. I know. Um, I could use a Mystic Art. I probably should use a Mystic Art. Don't teleport! Is that what, is this what we're supposed to do? I'm knocking him back with a hidden art. I'm knocking him back with a hidden art. Is there something else? Ancient Nova? One shot. I mean, he did said use a hidden art, right? Oh no, he said hidden art. God damn it. I'm an idiot. I mean, we're doing all right. To be fair, I don't think we're supposed to kill him because the whole needling Saray on. Or maybe I'm not supposed to be like. Did Serene just like turn black? Why is he turning black? Ow. Hey, hey, hey. Do you have dinosaur feet? Nah, yeah. You know. they, they keep telling me I have to go on, so. Release the squire. Oh, yeah, that's right, she's a squire. Prepare to see just what your resistance has earned you. Um. Please don't kill another one of my characters. I don't think I can emotionally handle that. You know, Rose, you're kind of a badass sometimes. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Slit her throat for Dizelle. Oh, kill her. You really plan to slay her? A safe. Killing is my business. Or did you forget? Simone. Very well, as you wish. What? Do it, Rose. <laughs> All right, well. I mean, thank you, Helldolf. But you could have waited till Rose moved. God damn it. Oh, please be dead. Toying with you has lost its charm. Shepherd Saray, work under me. Should we not bring this world back to the way it was together? What? Walking a path alongside the Lord of Calamity can only lead to malevolence. Surely you... And what is so strange about that? Malevolence will always be with us. It can only be dispelled by the scant few who hold the power of purification. Are you saying that's the way things should be? Hellions only bring pain to humans and seraphim alike. And so it is therefore natural to resist malevolence? Absurd. Those um, well, not really absurd. That actually makes a lot of sense. Who do you think suffers more? The answer should be right in front of you by now. Heldolf. Just because he can't stand the heartache of living, he thinks everyone else is the same way. Shepherd Saray, I repeat once more. Join me. For too long have the Seraphim been forced to fight the Malevolence. Too long have they been chained, toiling away at their blessings. Let us restore them to their rightful form as Hellions. I refuse. Ah, oh, fuck. I mean, yeah, well, yeah, I refuse too. I didn't want dark power. This is not the time. So you say, but one day you will discover it for yourself, the true nature of humans and seraphim in this world. Is the little girl dead? Because I will be happy about that. No mistake. That bearded menace is connected to Maltellus. When we were trapped by his malevolence, I felt a presence. There wasn't even a trace of Maltellus back then. Think about it. What if you were convinced you couldn't see something, but it was right under your nose? It's something we see all the time and yet never notice. This? The Earth? You mean the Hellion could be using the continent of Glenwood itself as a vessel? Right. <laughs> Jeez, that's a pretty big vessel. pulling it off. But if that's the case, even if all this is true, is it possible to purify the land itself? If Heldalf were the vessel, it would make a lot more sense. But if the Earth is the vessel, why would Maltellus also be connected to Heldalf? Let's find Maltellus. If it's true that Heldalf is connected to Maltellus, who's become a Hellion using the Earth as a vessel, then so long as we don't purify Maltellus, We'll never be able to quell Heldolf. But even with all the legends of Maltellus we've collected, there hasn't been a single clue as to his whereabouts. What are we at the shrine, guys? We should search for Maven. Old man Maven? Could... That's right. He was journeying to study the I mean, legends surrounding Maltellus as well. I know two places where he's been. But he just might. Yeah, but... How are we supposed to find him? He's in Lady Lake. I have an inkling. Let's go meet with the ones who protect the ruin of Logren and see what they think. Or you know we can go there too. Then it's been decided. Let's get packing, Nebo. Alright, alright. Just stop that. What are we packing? Mm. 
Are we gonna have an insightful moment? Are you okay with this? I trust him, though it is a gamble. What, Saray or Maven? Hi, hi, Snake Lady, how's it going? All right, time. Okay, actually, first things first. I'm gonna go back to Lady Lake and see if Maven's there. <laughs> Just because. God damn it, he's gone. All right, so next episode, we're gonna go to Logren. Rose, do you say anything? What did Lila mean when she said she had an inkling? Our best bet is to... Our best bet is to head to Logren. I'm willing to trust whatever Lila says, except for her puns. I agree wholeheartedly. All right, so that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press the like button below. If you're not subscribed yet, why don't you head over to my video section, check out some of my other content, and see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great day.